the number one fear, or a, a huge fear that we have as cardiologists is a condition called sudden cardiac death. And that is an unpredictable, unprovoked event in which the heart suddenly goes into ventricular fibrillation. And when the heart goes into ventricular fibrillation, there's no blood flow out of the heart, so the brain dies and then the, the patient dies, unless something is done quickly within just a matter of seconds or minutes to correct that or reverse that. So if that sudden cardiac arrest or sudden cardiac death event, which is almost always due to a cardiac arrhythmia, if that event occurs in the hospital where you've got trained medical professionals there on site, the patient's on monitor, you've got a nurse or doctor that can respond, you can put the patient on a defibrillator, shock them, which is an external energy delivery to the chest to reboot, uh, kick start the heart back into normal rhythm and patients will survive and we know it's very well known that the survival rate of a cardiac arrest in the hospital is significantly higher than if it occurs uh, out in the community or away from the hospital. So um, what the defib defibrillators that you're seeing in the airports and the shopping malls and the stadiums and at Memorial Park and so forth uh, are designed to do is to be able to deliver a defibrillatory shock to a patient in cardiac arrest on the scene wherever they, uh, wherever they suffer their cardiac arrest. They're very simple, they're designed so that any bystander can uh, easily uh, operate the device. You don't have, do not have to be a medically trained person, uh, uh, nurse or doctor or paramedic to operate one of these devices. Anybody uh, with, anybody can operate it. They're, they're, they're very, in, they're in full view. Uh, there's easy to read instructions. There's verbal instructions provided by the machine uh, to, to, to coach or to instruct the, the bystander to how to apply the pads properly to the individual's chest which when to stand back and it'll automatically detect the arrhythmia and then automatically deliver a defibrillatory shock uh, if appropriate. So these are life-saving devices that have saved thousands, millions probably of lives since they've been instituted in the last 10 years.